Cheers to all you witches out there. wants to be in the video guys as per usual she wants to take all my limelight look at her hello say hello to everyone hello my name's Nala please hit the follow and like button as it will do my mummy a massive favour and she'll love you all forever as it's Halloween Mwah. kissy kissy sort of hello <laughs> she's not Oh, see, she's saying hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. It's that time again. I haven't done one for a while. It's Tales with Christina. Tales with Christina time. Yeah, yeah. And I've even got my Halloween jumper on, even though I'm really short and you can't see it. You can just see the eyes. But we're here, we're vibing, this festivity vibes. And today, I'm coming at you with a Pinterest, Pinterest special. It's the Canned Corn Cocktail, which we're hoping it will look like this on screen now. So I'm really excited to make these Candy Corn Cocktails. Little fact about me, guys, I live in the UK and we don't get no candy corn over here. So, inspo from all you Americanos out there, we are gonna be doing the candy corn cocktail, as you can see by the title. So, yeah, we're just gonna get right into the video and make some cocktails. Just before I start, if you wanna make this for your kids or for anyone that doesn't drink, you can make this a mocktail, just don't include the alcohol. There's only one alcohol bev we are gonna be adding to this cocktail today. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. The ingredients you will need is some pineapple juice, apple sours if you're doing a cocktail and not a mocktail, vanilla, vodka, grenadine, some whipped cream, martini glasses, some syrup and some sprinkles. First things first, I'm going to set the mood, the Halloween vibes and light my boo candle. So I'm going to attempt to rim the martini glasses using these Halloween festive sprinkles. So all I'm doing is putting this on a plate. I'm then going to rim the glass with food colouring. You can do this with syrup and also lime and salt, but I didn't have any of them. So I went ahead and did it with food colouring. I then tipped the martini glass upside down into the sprinkles and made sure the rim had an even amount of sprinkles on it. Into a shaker, I then poured a generous amount of pineapple juice. To the shaker, I added two shots of apple sours and also two shots of vanilla vodka. I then popped the lid on the shaker bottle and shook all the ingredients together before pouring this into the martini glass. You then want to add a splash of grenadine to the middle of your cocktail to get that ombre effect. 
You then want to add the whipped cream to the top of your cocktail and to finish off the look, add a couple of your autumnal sprinkles. Thanks for watching guys, please give this video a big thumbs up, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Also hit the bell so you can see when my next video is up and I'm going to now go and enjoy this candy corn cocktail. Mm. By the way, if you like sweet cocktails, this will be the one for you. And it's super easy to make and it's delish so yeah cheers everyone let me know if you make this cocktail at home and i'll see you in my next video